Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends. It's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for a new episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone, and happy Friday the 13th week. Um, for this Friday the 13th, I thought I'd do something different. I'm going to do two videos this week. Uh, one will be posting tomorrow on Friday the 13th. And for today's video, I thought I'd focus on Friday the 13th collectibles, specifically Friday the 13th collectibles that are here in the Horror Zone that are very rare. Pretty much what started my collecting of horror toys goes back to the McFarlane uh, Jason Voorhees that came out in 1998 when McFarlane first released the Movie Maniacs line. I was so excited to have a Jason toy even though I was 24 years old when that line came out and every time that they put out a new Jason figure uh, from any company like Sideshow, NECA, Mezco, um, I always made sure I picked it up. A lot of them are very hard to find or very expensive. A lot of them are here in the room, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase some. Some that I haven't really shown on camera very much, or if I have shown them, it's been quite a while. Some I keep in a special case that is below camera line that you cannot see. Others are on shelves here in the room. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to talk about each one of them, why they're special to me, or why they are so rare. Um, and I thought that would be kind of a fun segue to do this. I mean, a lot of my horror collecting goes back to Jason. When I was a kid, I wanted Jason toys. They didn't make them. So for me, it's like I feel like a kid again, even though I'm older. Having them here in this room, um, it, it makes me uh, just remember what it was like being a kid, being obsessed with a, a film franchise that didn't have collectibles. So I'm grateful that in my lifetime I'm able to have the stuff that I can only dream about when I was a kid. I hope everyone looks forward to this video showcasing some rare and hard to find Friday the 13th collectibles. Please stay tuned. So the first collectible I want to showcase is this screen grab from the final scene of Friday the 13th Part 6 Jason Lives. This was released by Mezco and I believe I'm going to say it was 2005-2006 that this came out. Um, I got this on its first run, so I didn't really spend that much on it. And I believe I got it at either Spencer Gifts um, or it was Suncoast Video. I can't remember exactly, but this is a piece that I absolutely adore. Um, this one being specific to Part 6, I just thought was fantastic. I love that he's got the chain around his neck and you got the bubbles coming out of Tommy's mouth right here. Getting closer so you guys can see the detail. Yeah, it is a little dusty, but like I said, I keep it in a case over here. But just the detail on this is fantastic. And this piece goes for quite a bit. I think sealed, I've seen it go as high as 300. Uh, un, you know, opened up, I've seen it go for about 100, between 100 and 110. I would never sell this piece, but it's just interesting what this goes for. Yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, pieces that I have in my collection. Absolutely love it. The next piece I want to show, and I'm doing it with a different light because I felt like with the camera light on, it just didn't do it justice. And this is a custom uh, Friday the 13th Part 8 Jason Takes Manhattan figure, and this was done by One's Customs. It's one of the first custom figures I ever bought, um, and Once Customs, uh, his work is just amazing. Um, I'll put a link down below to anybody that's interested in following him on Instagram. Uh, he just does amazing, amazing sculpts. This was one of the first figures I showcased when I started doing videos back in 2010. I've always enjoyed Friday the 13th Part 8, and at the time they weren't making you know some of these Jason figures that they're making now. But uh, as you can see, the mask is spot on with the color and the sh and the chevrons and everything. But even the look of Jason, in terms of how he gave it that you know, Jason looked like he was really soggy and slimy in that movie, and I really think he did a great job. Like I said, I'll shine the light on it so you can see some of the details in the clothing, the exposed knee there. Just amazing detail. Here's the back of him. Even the buckle on the back of the hockey mask. Everything is very screen accurate to that film. And you had the articulation in the knees. And this was before NECA and Mezco was doing the articulation in the legs. Most of the uh, Jason figures around this time, uh, where they were like the statue legs, where they didn't move. And the detail in the face is just amazing. I mean, he got the sculpt just down perfectly. 
one of my prized figures and one that I don't showcase really at all. It remains in the case. I've kept it in the case all these years and uh, I'm just so uh, happy that I have this in my collection. One of the most important pieces in my collection is the Terror of Crystal Lake, which is this piece right here. Now, he's up on a shelf right now, but showcasing him was the first video I did for my YouTube channel. It's a very limited piece with an alternate head um, that's 361 of 400. Uh, one of my favorite pieces I have in the collection. Now back there, it's hard to see him a little bit, but that is the Gentle Giant Jason Bust. Um, it's again one of the first videos that I did on the channel. Um, he's hard to get to, but he is very limited. Um, in fact, my friend Phil over at Phil's Creepy Vids has this one, and he says his prized piece that he has. They only made um, 350 of them, um, so it's very rare. I never see it on eBay, so I have no idea what it's worth now, but I have number 181. And that is a fantastic piece right there. Another of my prized Jason items here in the room, uh, Jason Voorhees, that came out in 2011. Um, I put him here on the shelf. Um, I didn't get the exclusive one. Uh, there was an exclusive one where you could remove, it had an alternate head that you could remove that didn't have the mask. And in terms of the rarity of him, he's, um, like I said, he's premium format. He wasn't the exclusive one. He's 170 of 750 pieces. Another piece that I'm really proud of is this PX exclusive uh, Jason, Sackhead Jason from the remake. Again, it's up here on the wall on the shelf. A lot of people can't see it, but if you can see it right there, it is signed by Derek Mears. Um, and I had this signed when I met him in person back in 2010. Now, Sideshow used to make a different style of Jason. They made these figures with the cloth clothing and they came in the very special boxes. Now they, these were very limited. Um, I have every one of the Jasons that they did. Uh, my favorite being my part six, which is in the case back here. You can see him there in the corner. And that one, the base is signed by CJ Graham. Uh, who played Jason in part six. So that one is my favorite um, and means so much to me. But in terms of the limited one, this one is a very hard one to get and I've seen this one go for quite a bit. I've seen it as high as 500 bucks and this is the Sideshow exclusive. You can see it right there. Sideshow exclusive, Jason X, um, figure and I used to have all of these opened up and on a shelf but I got really paranoid about having them out and decided to put them all back in the boxes so yes this one has been opened but it has all the accessories still so I'm gonna open them up here try to get the glare off of them you can see the face sculpt there very very cool he's got the straight jacket kind of thing on with the chains the base that says Jason X the chain try to tape it back in there but this one was exclusive because it came with the space machete and I believe these were limited to 666 pieces just love that sculpt and the, the hockey mask is a little different too but yeah that is the exclusive item these boxes are really cool because it has the poster it has the cast um, very, very cool. This is probably my prize one um, because the part six one was the first one I got, but I didn't keep the box for it. Yeah, this one has the whole write up, shows some of the other ones in the, in the wave. Yeah, I love this figure. And because it was rare and exclusive, I decided to put it back in the box. I have all my other Jason ones over here, they're all sealed, and I even have. Mrs. Voorhees right there in the corner. But yeah, sealed them all back up. Felt like this would keep them safer. And my favorite Jason collectibles, I mean, I love the new Mezco um, Talking Jason that I did a video on just recently. But I absolutely adore this Jason. And this is called The Legend of Crystal Lake. This is one I got going on two years ago. I pre-ordered it in 2015. It didn't arrive until late 2016. 
and uh, this is from Sideshow, but I absolutely love it. I just love the stance. I love that he's got the spear gun and the machete. Just absolutely love this piece. I just think it's one of the coolest Jason items I've ever seen, and I'm so happy that I have it here in the room. So that is going to be it, my fellow fiends. I hope everyone enjoyed this video showcasing uh, my prize Friday the 13th collectibles here in the Horror Zone. Like I said in previous videos, this is becoming the house of Jason. There's so much Friday the 13th stuff that's coming out this year. I can't even keep up with it. It seems like every month we're getting something new. Uh, I'm so grateful that uh, there's companies like Mezco, Funko, and NECA that are putting out uh, collectibles from my favorite horror film series and my favorite horror film character. I only wish this stuff could have been around when I was a kid, but like I said, I'm grateful for it now. I love my collection. It really means a lot. And it's amazing to me how popular this character still is after all these years. And the fact that we haven't even gotten a new official movie in almost a decade. But uh, Jason will live on forever. And um, I'm so excited to do my next Friday the 13th video for the week. Since this is the last Friday the 13th we're gonna have in 2018, I thought I'd do something a little special. And I hope everyone looks forward to that. It will be posting tomorrow. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about the collectibles that I showcased here today. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.